And hello everybody and welcome to this next part of Let's Play Sonic Adventure. I'm your host, Maestro Baranoff, with my lovely co-host, the Duchess of Darkness. Hi. Alright, so in the last one we went to the casino, which we'll never ever do again in this playthrough, right? Ah, uh, you know. Yeah. So anyway, we grabbed the ice stone and we're going to get stuck between two rocks and then come in here. And up we go! So anyway, Duchess, what do we do with the ice stone? We put, it put it in a hole. That's right. Putting things in holes. That's what we all love to do. So, anyway. We're going to come over here and come on up the ladder. And we actually don't have to go up there. All we have to do is jump, activate the, uh, the level trigger, and then we can fall back down. Hey! Got hit immediately. Don't like that. There's actually ways you can skip a good chunk of this level using spin dash dumping, but unfortunately I'm not very good at it, so it's probably better if I just play the level. This I remember. Yeah, you you actually did alright on this. Your problems was when you get to the top you get nervous and then rush your jump and end up falling back to the bottom and then you get angry about how I was like, nope, you have to do the whole thing again. You'd be like, oh, nay! Right? Mm, right. It's kind of annoying if you have to do the thing all the time. Yeah, over and over and over. Oh! Whatever. What was that? Well, I think you're supposed to come down here, but maybe there's a way you can not come down here. It doesn't matter. I won't crash and keep falling down like you did, so it's okay. <sighs> what? Sometimes, oh. I'm, sometimes I'm getting tired of you, okay? Whatever. Hey! Come on, can't you do anything, okay? No. Sickle. Whatever, I just did that to make you feel better. Yeah, alright. Alright, I'll be sweet if you be sweet, okay? <laughs> Look at Tails! <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Not to him, though. You promise you're gonna be sweet? Yes. Good. And I'll be sweet to everyone but Tails. No, you have to be sweet at Tails as well. No. Yeah. Never to him. <clears throat> Whatever. What? He d does he deserve it? Yeah, okay, just play the game. <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> Poor thing, he wants, he wants on that ice cube so much. Oh, come on. Hey! How did I get up there? Be careful not Being to fall off. Well, it's where I wanted to be, so I'm kind of happy. That's a... That was kind of a happy glitch. I thought I was going to die because I was stuck in that ice cube, and next thing I know I'm up at the top level where I'm supposed to be. Use the panel, so the panel to, jump. to jump. It may even help guide your way. Remember this one? Mm, not really. So anyway... <clears throat> How about this part? Oh yeah. Of course. This, yes, this is our obligatory Sonic 06 copy scene. So yeah, Sonic 06 copied this scene, of course, from White Acropolis. But, you know, this is so much more fun than uh, Sonic 06 version of Snowboarding. You can see, in this one, you don't have to time your jumps off the ramp, and you don't just jump like a normal person. You actually get to, you know, do something cool in the air, and you have much better control. Now, isn't that something that the snowboard in this game actually controls pretty well? I mean, I'm hitting the ice and stuff, but, you know, at no point do I feel like I just have no control over where I'm going. Whereas in 06, it's like, when do I feel like I do have control of the world? Okay. See, I can do something cool like that. And that's fun, right? Mm-hmm. Well, why doesn't Sonic do that in 06? Why does he just jump? I mean, I get it, it's more realistic, but... Okay. Like, there. See? He does a little cool little trick. I mean... Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Sonic's supposed to be the coolest, fastest thing alive, so why can't he do awesome snowboarding tricks, right? 
you say so. Well, I think you should. Well... I thought you had to, uh, beat with Tails here. No, Or is Tails... that another game? No, you beat with Sonic if you're playing with Tails. Oh, oh, crap. If you're playing with Sonic, it's just beat the level. Sorry. Anyway, so yeah, we're about done. Yes. Yeah, don't worry, he'll be showing up soon. Hopefully he doesn't photobomb us again. Or maybe we left him back in the ice cave. That's a good place for him. Yeah, not bad. He's not coming. Nah, he's not coming. He knows we don't want him. You don't want him. <laughs> Not we. Whatever. There's no we. You. I know there's no we. You. I prefer PlayStation Four. What? You said we. You said there's no we. You. I agree. I don't have a we. You. Nor do I particularly want a we. You. No, that's not true. I'd love a Wii U. The train headed for station. So anyway, I think I need soon. to go to the mailbox. What do you think? I don't know. Well, the mailman is here. Oh. It's Knuckles. What's up, Knuckles? He's kind of angry. Yes, he is. Something bugging you? Something must be bugging him. No time for games, Sonic. Give me the emerald you have, right now. No time for games while I'm playing a game. What? Let's just see you take him. Huh. Ready for some oh no's? Sure. Oh no. Oh no. Give yeah. oh no. Well, that was a hard boss. <laughs> uh, is not a boss. No. Oh, no. Technically that the is, chaos, but it's a pretty pathetic one. <laughs> Almost as pathetic as them dropping their emeralds. In Sonic Adventure 2, the character battles were obviously much more interesting. Uh, uh oh! Like and in 06, well, there's one particular character battle that is very infamous. That's a Chaos Emerald! Right, Duchess? Mm -hmm. That's right, fool. Well, we when Sonic fights easy. Silver, needless to say, lots of people knew that that one was not so easy. Right At least there, until you Chris. know what you're doing. You can't get away with oh, this. Right. No. Yes, that's oh, a boss. Hey, Silver man, was a boss. Yeah, now you're what talking about, about you? 06 again. What? Go, That's a good game. We're playing adventures now, so now, stop I nagging about 06. Yes, but you have to remember that 06 is essentially a rip Chaos. of Sonic Adventure. It's a bad yes, remake of Sonic Adventure. Said. Yes. So I'm pointing out the similarities. Look, there's Chaos again. Right. Oh, yes, two These big arms. You, right, because friend. he got the second emerald in the hotel, which we will not see yet. And now he gets two more, and he tip turns into Iblis 2, I mean Chaos 4. Oh, he transformed again! Man, no one ever cuts us any See, if you, just, if you just paint him orange, you'd have Iblis 2, I mean, wouldn't you? Yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, that's why I'm talking a lot about 06, is because that's what 06 is. It's a, it's a bad copy of this game, for the most part. Oh, this one. Yeah. Remember I told you, just, just keep jumping from thing to thing, and then when he mm -hmm. sticks his head up, you just pow, I'll make that. You, you, we'll actually fight this guy as three different characters, but in my opinion, it gets progressively easy. I think it's Sonic's probably the toughest, just because he can't stay in the air that long. Tails is not too bad. I mean, it's really hard to get hit as Tails, but if you can't homing attack, it's a little tougher to hit him. But then when you fight him as Knuckles, it's the easiest because you can stay in the air a long time. And he's very easy to hit because you can glide at him. Seems like you can walk over water with Sonic. Yeah, but if you, if you dip, you, you get hurt, so you can't do that. You can, but you don't want to. Then you're hitting the water all the time. Yeah, but you see how I got hurt there because I didn't get out in time. Yeah. See, there's, I, they, they probably put like, a, a, like a spike plane or something down there would be my guess, and then you slowly sink into the water. So 
so if you don't get out of the water, you get hurt. Would be my guess of how they programmed it. It's kind of like how you you, know, you have kill planes at different points. Well, it's not a kill plane underneath the water, it's just a get hurt plane. See, that's how those things are programmed. That's how things like Metropolis 2 level wrap work. Is once you dip below the surface of the lava, you're below the, the you're below the solid plane, which hurts you. So you can uh, you know dip through the rest of the lava like it's just o open space. And then of course you jump into the wall, zip into a level wrap, and each level takes Kill. seconds. Yeah, I know. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Hey, he said he'll play with us some other time. Cool. So anyway, we've now beat Niblis 2, I'm sorry, Chaos 4. And now we have... Jeez. What? Nothing. And, and, and like, they didn't have this in Sonic 06? They ripped the exact same ship and called it the exact same thing. They called it the Egg Carrier in both games. Did they or did they not? Yes, they did. Exactly. Again, you know, not trying to beat a dead horse, Behold but, you know, if you're going to rip a game, the egg I'm afraid I have to call you on it, Sega. But it pales in comparison to the power of chaos. Adieu. Until we meet again, my friends. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, he flies off into the egg carrier, and off he goes. Hey, we can't let him get away! Let's get to my workshop and we'll take the tornado! No, I have a better idea. Let's yeah. go to the beach and, and speed up. You guys go. Oh wait, but that didn't work. I so yeah, let's use the tornado. That works better. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care you of like everything tornadoes, here. right, Duchess? Come on! Not as much let's as you do. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. All right, so now we can play as Knuckles if we so desire, and we of course will be doing that third. So now we go up here to the workshop and land by the door, and that Sonic, thing wait here for a second. tells us to wait here for a second while he rubs his face against the wall. What? That's what he was doing. <sighs> so now Sonic's just like, what is this thing up to now? I wish I had something that turns the trees and makes a runway in here. That sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. And I, ha I have to admit, I'm not quite sold on the slanted runway trick. I think that'd be a little dangerous. And how does a fox build all this? Sonic! In. And why does he have a workshop randomly in the Mystic Ruins? I'm not buying it, Sega. Let's go. I'm not buying it that Sonic's just then on top of a plane. Yeah, but Sonic's without cool. a parachute. Yeah, but Sonic's cool. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, okay. Here's Side Chase Act One, which is basically an auto-scrolling uh, plane fighting simulator. So the goal is to try to shoot homing missiles at as many of those guys as possible. And see, I missed one there, so I lose some points. But, um, you can get two emblems on this one. One for beating it, one for getting a high score. I doubt I will get the high score, but we'll try. The goal is, is really just not get hurt. We will at least finish the level. So I don't think we'll get hurt very much because you, know, you have to... You have to suck pretty bad to get hit up this way. Really a couple of times. I mean, there'll be some parts which are a little tougher, but in general, it's... stuff's not too bad. Like, when you're going near the ship, the ship will shoot at you, but... Yeah. Enjoy the pretty scene. Pretty sun, right? Mm hmm I do have to admit, the graphics in this game are unusually good, especially considering... I mean, this was made for a 1998 game. I mean, it's not perfect, but, I mean, for its time, this was a really good game. I think a lot of people forget that. Because, yes, the game has not aged well. Sonic has not aged well in general. We all know that. But 
let's not lose sight of the fact that in its day, this game really advanced. I mean, the old Genesis games were definitely outstanding. And, you know, what many people say about the Dreamcast in general was it was ahead of its time. The, the Dreamcast had a lot of good ideas that probably would have been great, except that a lot of them just couldn't be done right yet. Like, the Dreamcast had online play. They were the first console to do that, I believe. Unfortunately, it wasn't very Why good. Why doesn't he just land on the ship? Why is he flying over it and in front of it, etc.? That's um, stupid. Because we're not done with the level yet. And we have to get in front of it, I guess. We did it! We did See, we did it! Tails. Tails is all proud mm. of himself. So uh, now uh, Eggman is where you do what we all wanted to do to Tails at one time or another when we've been playing Sonic. That! Bye bye Tails. So I got a 79%, that's okay. I think you need like 90 to get the other emblem, but you know, it's okay. I'd have to grind that level pretty heavy if I'm going to get two emblems. I have gotten 120 emblems on this game before. Got it when I was like 14, and I've been playing the game a while, but I eventually got it, so. Splat. Tails? Tails? <laughs> right, he's dropping from out of the yeah, air and he's not for? in debt. Well, no, he, he probably had he probably had some rings. Oh, I wonder if he's okay. Well, anyway, let's go uh, find another thought bubble and see what we're supposed to do next. Might be something the Duchess would like. What? You don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Let's find out. Where should we Why go? Why don't you try going to the casino? <gasps> Ooh. Not again. Yes, casino. So, off to the casino we go. It, it's okay, Duchess. I mean, you, you like the casino. I mean, I mean, how bad can the casino be? I mean, what could be in the casino that could be so bad, huh? Wait Never up. mind, okay? Look who it is! Time, no uh, uh, Amy. What's, What's the matter, Duchess? Anyway? What? Listen, this Look who it is! In trouble, so you need to be a sweet Amy. For a while. Yes. You must be kidding! So here's sweet Amy. If you don't, we're just gonna voiced by Jennifer anyway. Juilliard. The stalking kiddo. Yeah, well... So anyway, now we can play as Amy. Hooray. So, now that the game is saved, I think I'll cut it off here and we'll go see what Amy wants us to do in the next part. So, for the Duchess of Darkness, this is Maestro Baranoff signing out. Do